Hey guys, crew Blind Wave here. I'm Shane. I'm Rick. I'm Kevin. I'm Aaron. We're back with Clone Wars, episode two, we're watching in chronological order. So for you guys at home, we're actually on episode one. Epis season, season one. Season one, episode 16. Episode 16. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Last time we watched uh, Cat and Mouse yeah. yep. with uh, Admiral Trench yeah. and the submarine yeah. stealth boat thing yeah. they got, right? Yeah. And that was yeah. cool. Delivering uh, war supplies to yeah. uh, Counselor. Bail Organa. Well, yeah, but what's his title? Senator. Senator, Senator Organa. Yeah, he's That's a senator right now. So. What the hell he's on that planet for? Get back to Alderaan, bitch. So last time we saw, last thing that happened in that was that uh, they were battling above uh, Chris, Chrysanthemum? What's the name? Christophsis. Christophsis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they were battling on Christophsis. Yeah. They were bringing supplies down to Organa, who was battling down on, on the, the planet itself. He was a battle. Um, he was doing shit. Well, I mean, he was there in the middle of the battle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he he almost got bombs, bombs right? I'll drop a bombs on you. That's a high. battle. That's not a, he's not battling. He's dying. He's battling. <laughs> he's, dying. he's surviving. He dies down later. Dies later. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, they, oh, so uh, Anakin landed. Obi Wan was still up fighting what was left of the Separatists up yeah. in the sky. Anakin's on a mercy mission. So, trench. The question is, do we see more from there, or where do we go next? Mm. And that means we go to season one, episode sixteen. Yep. Okay. Now. <sighs> Anakin, how are you doing over there? We're set. I've got some guys. I like how it just goes straight into going. dialogue Glad from yep. the like announcer. Yeah. Yeah, man. It cut out so much shit, dude. Back, General. It's a different, like, cadence. I'm seeing a full battalion coming right on schedule. <clears throat> tanks. They're on tanks. Something's gone wrong. Prepare all troops for. No! Shit! Those guards are not paying for good attention. No, nope. nope. I'm guarding their post. Their reflexes. Not very quick. Abort the mission! No. Gunships come in. Park. Energy bayonets. South Tower. Right? Roger that, Sal. We're coming. Two cables. Oh, man. God, that'd be Shit, terrible. Yeah, yeah, that poor guy. Yeah. Just hope they don't cut the cable. This way is clear. How did you get over here? <laughs> Improvised. Improvised. Why do the droids have bird and cats, by the way? For reproduction. Got it. It's more of a skeleton, you know? Look at us, we look the same. This might be a stupid question, but have the laser blast always been blue? Um, depends on if it's the prequels or the originals. Yeah, okay. Because the green was involved in the yeah. <coughs> I was gonna yeah. say, I, I remember the green. Oh! Jeez, dude! He took it with him as a souvenir. <laughs> tactical droid. Now I have his information. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I'm the tactical droid? The Republic Army is in the north yeah, and south it. towers. Level 46. You think someone infiltrated our defenses? Possibly. It would have to be someone cunning and resourceful enough to gain access to all our plans. But that still wouldn't explain how they got our intel. No, you're right. Moly, moly, moly. They wouldn't act alone. They'd have Ooh. someone working with them. A spy, sir. I need you here to find the security breach. You can count on us, sir. One more thing. This mission is extremely confidential. The spy could be anyone. Let no one know of our mission. Understood, sir. <clears throat> hey, stop! Who's that? I'll follow him. You take the west corridor. I'm on it. Sharn's behind your back. You run faster. That's not how it works. You must have gone in the mess hall. Shit. It was Eric. We've got a big problem. Her. Slick's barracks. Only Slick's men would have access to that terminal. Yeah. Slick's not gonna like that. No, he's not. If one of his men is giving away our intel, 
No guards, no barricades. Huh. You'd think the Separatist headquarters would be better protected. But clearly, keeping us out is not what they intend. You called them here? Of course we did. We're getting to the bottom of this. Now, look. Let me have a few minutes with them first. None of them have bad guy goatees. I don't know who it is. They trust each other. Is that how you tell? One of our own betrayed us. I don't think that's necessary. We have a turncoat in our midst. And we think it's one of you. So patch. Ventress. And here I thought this mission would be unpleasant. The pleasure's all mine, my dear Obi-Wan. <coughs> I missed you. So, chopper old boy. What's your alibi? Always in the mess hall. No, you weren't. I mean, you. If you know something, kid, you should speak up. Chopper came in a lot later. After everyone else. My loyal informant, let me know you are coming. Well then, we thank you for your hospitality. <laughs> Pretty good fighting. She thinks she can take on both of them? Nowhere. I was hiding. At the south exit. I didn't want anyone to see me string these together. Battle droid fingers. I just... I just wanted something back. I guess I felt like... Like they owed me. This isn't good, Chopper. Lying about where you were. Taking forbidden items from a battlefield. I know. I'd put up with the attitude because you have skill. But if you can break these rules, your whole character's in question here. Wait, no. Hang on. I'm no spy. Chopper, we're all brothers. But how can we trust anything you say now? No, sir. I'm telling you, I did not. It's okay. We'll get you a proper investigation. You don't have to say anything till the Jedi come back and talk to you. Maybe you should talk, sir. Sergeant, what did you mean till the Jedi come back? How did you know the Jedi were gone? <gasps> I really wish you hadn't noticed that, <laughs> sir. <laughs> it's slick. Man. Slick's slick. the traitor. Not the books. I don't know why. I was waiting for a secret door to open up. <laughs> she did that. Not a lot. Oh, paper cut. Ah. No. That was a slick move. Oh shit! How do you do all that? You've served your purpose. We have to get back. Now! It's already too late. So hard to know whom to trust these days. Isn't it? Welcome to die. So we know they can fucking jump up there. This was not a very good trap, I feel like. Come and get me, boys. This is better. <laughs> you didn't tell us you were bringing friends. Anakin! <laughs> All the screaming. <laughs> Jordan had a family, damn it. Prepare to march on the city. He didn't. No. He had mother bot though. The lockdown. He wants to get around the lockdown. He's blinded us by taking out the power. He could disable the entire security system. Yeah, but he knows we'd expect him to do that. Go to the south exit. What are you gonna do? I'll stay here. Get the power back up. That'll help. Got it. It's like Home Alone. Stomping on the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> hey there. That's what? <laughs> Guns empty. I'm not the traitor. You are!
Oh. Credits, not coin. Oh, oh shit. Whoa! No. Yes, she offered me money. God damn. But she First offered me something more important. Something you wouldn't understand. Freedom! He's William Wallace. Slick. It was you. He gave us a bit of a chase, sir. You couldn't be a greater disappointment. Wait, is his leg better? do this to your brothers? No, that's not the guy that Only got his leg broke. Only a Jedi that. Gold suit guy. It's the Jedi who keep my brothers enslaved. We do your bidding. We serve at your whim. I... I love my brothers. You're too blind to see it. But I was striking a blow for all clones. If you loved your brothers, you wouldn't have put them at risk. You betrayed every one of us. Take him to lock up. Slick pretty much scorched the whole thing. That seemed to be what he was going for all along. We managed to save the heavy cannons, though. Well, that's good. Because there are about a thousand battle droids <laughs> on their way here. The fight goes on, gentlemen. It was a hell of an episode. Yeah. Like, I just kind of forgot how great some of these episodes are. It's pretty freaking sweet. It's no, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm having the... I mean, you know... It allows for much different stories than we've seen in that universe before. Yeah. Like, you know, <clears throat> foxing out a traitor, like, and the fact that this is an actual, like, war. Mm -hmm. and, like, you don't get that feeling in Star Wars so much. Yeah. You know, that it's an actual war over years and, like... Yeah. Yeah. So we just Star see Wars, our characters. You, yeah, you, so in Star Wars you feel like you're, you're following these characters. You're not necessarily following a war or yeah. like giant combats, even though you see yeah. some big fights every once in a while. Yeah. We, we more see, like, battles that our characters join rather than seeing the the wars that that our characters, like, go in and yeah. out of. Yeah, and the effects it has on our, on our heroes. Yeah. Like, effects it has on this clone, you know? We're talking about, you know, he feels like he's a slave. Mm -hmm. He wants some more forged life. He wants to be a name on a number. That Which, I mean... Pretty deep stuff, actually. I mean, they are slaves, Right. Like, they're not... Did they receive wages? No, oh, no. They, I mean, they were grown by the Caminos. Right. Um, for a purpose. They were programmed for a purpose. Right. They have an element of free will, uh, and they are able to form an identity. Um, but a uh, clone can't just be like, ah, I'm not going to serve. I'm going to go start, open a bakery. I, I yeah, I mean, in a way, I mean, they are kind of <laughs> slaves, but the fact that they're made for a purpose gives them that they're also, like... Like, you're made for this. Once we finish this, like, I don't think it's that the idea is, like, well, now you're done. Yeah. But the problem with that, though, is that sometimes you get people who may view them as, like, well, that's all you are. They're just you're, hardware you're, rather yeah, than people. Yeah, sure. you're just a means to an end for us to take over and win this war. Or, you know, you're cannon fodder. Or yeah. you're slaves and you do what with my bidding, you know? like Yeah. So you can see, like, there's some clones that may feel this way of, like, I want to be a person. I don't want to be... Slightly better than a droid. And I'm sure. Well, the canon has kind of changed because initially they they were kind of programmed to with less of an identity. Like in original, like originally they were they had a purpose. Like I'm here to fight this war. That's what I want to do. Yeah. But then the Clone Wars came out, and I said, you know what? Let's change that a little bit. And I like it better for it, honestly. Yeah, I'm sure that's something that like not just this episode, but it'll be a constant theme of the show of like, you know, the clones and how like human are they? Yeah. And the thing I always like the most too about the clones is that, like, you, I mean, you met Slick and Chopper and you know some yeah. other like yeah. clones. Like, you're not you're never worried about Obi Wan, you never worry about Anakin. But these clones, like, there's so many of them. Sure. They all have their own identities though. So like, any of those could could die. And then if they die, you could see the effects of what happens when a clone dies. Does it matter or does it not? Sure. Does it have effects? Well, I mean, it it seems to because he was like, I, I want to take something back from them with the fingers. So yeah. clearly he's like saddened by from, It's like death. taking teeth from your enemy. You know yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you're seeing, you're, you see a couple sides. You see soldiers that are just loyal. You see ones who like, they're not necessarily being unloyal to their to their side, but he's doing some stuff that you're not supposed to. Yeah. Where he's like, the enemies, you know, I, I hate sure. them so much. I want more for us. Yeah. And then you see the other side of people who are just like, I want freedom. You know, regardless of who I have to betray or right. whatnot. So, it, it, this, this episode I think does a good job of like showing you like, like three sides of clones. You know, of like. But it also shows like you know, those two were able to anticipate his plan because, I mean, it's either because they were clones or because they had the same training. Like they knew how he was going to think, and that's how they trapped him, mm -hmm. kind of. Yeah, um, I, I like uh, when you know when they were. In the buildings in the beginning, and Anakin improvised. And he, 
you know, and he shot the tow cables across, mm -hmm. and he, he after he busted the window, that was that was a good action scene. Yeah, Ryan a Tom Cruise movie, because <laughs> he would do that. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. It's a great action. Um, Is Ventress new? Like she's never shown up before. You've never seen her in any movies or anything. Okay. No, she's in the movies, but she's no. been the canon for a long time. Um, there was a previous little micro cartoon series before this, and it, it showed her. Um, and Which that could have been. I think last episode you were talking about like. I expect the animation to be very different. It's possible maybe you could have seen something from like You might, that but that old... was Samurai Jack, the same artist who did Samurai Jack, which I know you like Samurai Jack, so I don't think you, I don't think, yeah. I mean, it's well, like, not, but it is a different. It may not have been that he was going to dislike too. the animation, but it could have been that he was expecting entirely different yeah, animation. He said he's expecting to dislike it. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, and then of course, the, it talks about in the books, it talks about in the, in, uh, the micro series, it's actually, they said it was canon, but then this, when this came out, like it went on for so long, I don't, I don't know if it contradicts anything. But Ventress gave Anakin the scar, uh, yeah, and it never shows it, and you'll never hear about it. But that's that's why he has that scar. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, one thing that we didn't talk about last time, and we kind of mentioned it in the very beginning, is like this has, it has a Star Wars intro, but it's not the Star Wars intro that everyone it's not knows. the the, so the like, classic. Star it's a little Wars like fan. slower yeah. pace. Yeah. So like, what do you think of the intro, like, with what we get with this? Because I know when, when the first episode like you were like, proverb, you know? the first I, thing, like, that's different. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I wish it was either the same or more different. I feel like it's too close to sort of stand on its own. Instead, it just feels like someone's fucking up, mm. playing it. Whereas, if, if it was a little more different, maybe, I'm not sure. It, it's just too close. I play, you mean like the music part of it or what? Um, like when you say playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so like the person, like you know. So like the audio should be completely different from what they're doing. Is that what you mean? Or no. Are they completely the same. I mean like, it's so close that it feels like the orchestra playing it is just getting the wrong, wrong, keys. wrong yeah. notes. Yeah. Okay. Just like has the wrong beat as opposed to it being a completely unique, different theme. Yeah. I, I get that. You know, like when I was watching the anthology movies, Rogue One and Solo, they have kind of a different way they do things. Yeah. yeah. It's actually, Rogue One. But yeah, that's how they differentiate, differentiate, differentiate themselves, but they chose to kind of have the same music, but, but different, yeah. But I do like the little, like... Proverb. Yeah, tokens of wisdom at the beginning, yeah. and I really like... Some are pretty good, too. I, write, I go right down, I'll put it on my phone, that's pretty good, I need to remember that for tomorrow. I really like the announcer guy, and like, you know, he's done talking, and then there's like a beat, and then the next it character just goes. Just, just goes yeah. You know? yeah. And, and, yeah, there's no, like, last time on Dragon Ball Z, and then you go to the opening thing, and it's just yeah. right into it. Yeah. It's nice and quick, yeah. And, yeah. like, every episode that they have on Clone Wars 2, like, they always have that with the announcer being like, here's what's been happening! Just because, like, sometimes, like, there might be a gap of, like, it's not picking up right after a previous episode, or sure. even, like, the very first episode would always have, like, here, the moment of triumph, you know, whatever Yeah, you know, and these, yeah. Are, these are, like, a season apart, too, so if you're watching them on TV... Yeah, technically, you, know, you would have seen this one before you would have seen the last one. Right. Yeah. Which is weird because the animation was, wasn't too bad. <laughs> it was pretty good. No, I was watching yeah, it. I felt, I felt more sophisticated. The, 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 he rips the, that droid's head off, you know? That's the animation awesome. changes happen more towards, like, I think five and yeah. four. Yeah. Whereas, like, we're not. Okay. I, I think most of the chronological stuff we'll be going through, a lot of the, like, jumping back and forth is more through seasons one through three. Yeah. And then once you get into four and five and six, like, it's kind of just right along <coughs> with where they want it. Yeah. And, like, before you had mentioned. <coughs> Especially early in the beginning, it's for kids. And, like, I hadn't really noticed that until General Loathsome. I was like, hmm, yep. Yeah. Lo <laughs> loathsome. Yeah. Loathsome. Yeah. Yeah, but you saw him, he kind of looked, kind of reminded me of, like, a Doug or, I don't know, he had, like, that long snout. Mm -hmm. Or a Calvin. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's not unique to this, but the only vehicle design that I haven't liked so far are the tanks. Yeah. It just seems like they should be so top-heavy. It's empty. It feels weird. Which yeah. tanks? The, the, the tanks. walker guys? Or the the, walk the like, droid tanks. Yeah, they actually they yeah. say they're tanks. The, the are ones here. from like episode one? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Those. Yeah. I've always I've always kind of disliked those as well. Just because they look like they should like I will say they should lean back more. Yeah. I will say they're the toys of them is just really hard to use. Yeah. yeah. But from this like you know, they they have their, their anti grab things that they oh, sure. you know. But yeah, from a toy standpoint it's just like sitting back <laughs> yeah. like this and you gotta stand it up and then move it. Like, oh <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So yeah, I get what you mean. Which, I don't get why they're so wide. 
also. It's like they could just be tall like that and not have to have the big like spoon bill thing out front. And they have people down in there doing stuff. The plow. Down in the little the little disc thing. I think there's the like, like three droids in each tank. Is there? I don't, I I don't know I how they could fit it. I think there's one up there on the gun thing doing the thing, and then there's one further down, like, driving it. And I think there's one more doing something else. Hopefully we'll see. I think. Okay. I forget. Well, yeah, we may see more anyway, of that and what happens in the future. I, I just, for things. maneuverability and stuff like I'm that. I'm quite certain there's at least more than one droid in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, actually steering the tank. I mean, Because like, like, even in the movies, like... Didn't he, like, rip one out and throw it, and then one came up, and he was, like... Juggling the ball and got hit as it I mean, was like climbing out or something like that. So. It is kind of weird. Like, why would you have a droid driving it? Why wouldn't you just put an AI in the tank? Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah, you mean but that's the, the same way that, that, that the, would, the bombers are. That would are. complicate all of Star Wars. Yeah, you know what I mean. I say the only the only thing with that is, yeah, you have the spaceships that they have, the the vulture droids. Right? I think it's what they yeah. call them. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a the Bible that they refer to for their technology. Sure. In this universe, technology didn't evolve that way. Although you get in the books, like that happens. It's weird, you know. Um. But that, I like this episode way more than the last one. Yeah. Not that I didn't like the last one, but I just love that whole, like, trying to ferret out the, yeah. the traitor. Yeah. This, one, this one had more of a, st- the last one had a lot more action, and this one has a little bit more story, but like, well, who's yeah. the traitor? Yeah. He's talking. But, and it, it wasn't that, like, it had a focus on Obi-Wan and uh, Anakin, but it wasn't, like, super focused on Obi-Wan and well, Anakin. Yeah. At first, I thought, like, like, they went off to do their mission. I was like, oh, we're just going to focus on the clones, and we're never going to see Anakin mm-hmm. Obi-Wan again until yeah. later. But you kind of saw what, like, because you were like, this is a very good trap. But it was half just a distraction, so they could destroy their weapons base. Yeah, yeah. sure. And uh, advantage. The, the lightsaber fight uh, wasn't, wasn't too bad. Uh, no, there, there's some, there's some great bad. stuff in the show, but that wasn't too bad. Yeah. You kept the camera yeah. close, you know? Yeah. But, but, but it, wasn't, it wasn't too close sometimes. Like, it was still no, back could... a bit, too. So you, you could see stuff. Yeah, there's like a fine line of like having things too close where you can't tell what's going on, yeah. and then too far back where it's just kind of like slower and you it can't. Looks really, slow. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't look as good. I mean, the only problem I had with it is anytime you have like one Sith fighting two Jedi, it makes the other Sith not as special. That's why you gotta watch Ferocity. <laughs> it's done right. <laughs> yeah, just because like you know when Darth Vader did, or when Darth Maul did it, it was awesome. But then, like, yeah. Ke- Count Deku also did it, and that made Maul a little less special because he was able to do it. Now this uh, Ventress Interest. also does it, and again, it, I was waiting, yeah. it's Dooku. a little less special. Count Dooku. <laughs> Deku. Deku Tree. Yeah. No. That's how Eric says it. Eric's the expert. Oh, no, yeah. he is not. That's a Zelda thing. <laughs> Darth Tyrannus. You know, Insidious. Lord Insidious. Lord Insidious. Yeah, Insidious. A lot of the loathsome. Ins- Insidious. Of, it's from Insidious. Oh, okay. I was like, there's no Darth Sidious. Insidious. Yeah. Insidious comes from Insidious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I get you. I thought it's, you were like, it's Darth, a root word. Darth yeah. Insidious, Darth Insidious. I'm like, yeah. I don't think it's a guy. They're not synonymous. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I, I get that. No. I was going to say something else, I can't remember what it was. Very good. All right, well, that was it for this. Uh, we have uh, more Star Wars coming in the chronological order, which you can find down in the description below if you want to watch oh, it. Oh, yeah, leg break, you know. Oh, oh god the, damn. Yeah, what about, what about that? It's so, not my thing, but okay. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe restart it then later. <laughs> the leg break, though. And I think you wrote down when he said clankers and seppies. Yeah, I did. You didn't talk about it, so I, I wrote it down and make sure you talked about okay. it. Well, just like, you know, they have a lingo. Again, it, it, it feels like a war. Yeah, exactly. Like you watch Band of Brothers or whatever, yeah, and, and they, they call them like... Com- not commies, but <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I know yeah. you're saying, yeah. You know? They, they call these, them Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, or sometimes yeah, like yeah. racist they names. Give them some yeah, names. Yeah, just, you know... Like Vietnam, they, they would say, you know, whatever. You sure. know, racist names. And, like, it's okay to hate robots, because they're robots. Yeah, they don't have feelings. Fucking seppy motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> what about the leg break, though? Ah, uh, that was cool. Just that, that was, it was a good moment. It was a good action. Just did it actually well. break his leg? Because wasn't that the same character that they were showing later on when... When they were bringing the traitor out of the Jedi. When they say yeah. what looks like a when break, they, it's always a dislocate. If they're walking uh, around after that. Yeah. Right. Okay. And, and these kind of things, you know what I mean? Just to, like, make it more PG? Like, if you watch Rivals, we did a, a break, but it was a dislocate, you know what I mean? And then I was normal, you know? Just popped right back in. Leave the weapons I down. I did, I you spit. Did. Ah! You spit on it? I spit after that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I spit after the take. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, go ahead, Aaron. So it was All a right. spit take? So that was, uh, that was it for this episode. Uh, we will be doing more chronological Star Wars, Clone Wars. As we said before, too, it may not be me, it may not be Shane, who, who knows, but it'll be Calvin and Rick going through this series. Oh. All fun. Uh, but if you guys want to watch ahead, make sure you guys go down in the description below where you can find the uh, whole list of the Star Wars chronological order. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time. Yee. Okay. That. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys, uh, if you want to watch next week's episode already, go to Patreon and or our website where you can find the or Roger, access. Roger. 
and you can find full length at both those locations as well. And subscribe so you don't miss anything Star Wars related, like the new Star Wars Clone Wars season coming out that Shane and I will be covering with Eric. Yeah. Or Resistance, because that's coming out soon too. Yes. Make sure you subscribe.